Μάγισσον Δέσποτα Τον πάντοτε νικιάει και στους αιώνας των αιώνων Πάντοτε να τιμούμε τους ήρωες του 1821 στους οποίους οφείλουμε την ελευθερία μας και τους τιμούμε όταν εμείς μιμούμαστε το παράδειγμά τους και τον τρόπο ζωής τους και είμαστε άξιοι, απόγονοι, ένδοξων προγόνων. Feeling to be here at the heart of Toronto and be celebrating the Greek National Day. I think we deserve to be proud of the fact that we are celebrating our independence today. It was no small achievement what they did our ancestors 200 years ago. It was no small thing to break loose of an empire that was reaching from from the Balkans all the way to the Middle East at that time. At a very difficult uh, conjuncture politically, uh, when we had the Holy Alliance forbidding any revolutionary movement to take effect. So yes, we should be proud, but we also should be uh, should be aware of the fact that uh, those things come at a price that we should uh, be ready to pay. Also. Thank you. Um, and now I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. George Dimitrakopoulos, the president of Pan Macedonian Federation. Uh, he is here with us. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, again, the president of Pan Macedonian Federation, Mr. George Dimitrakopoulos, and now. Φεύγοντα, εντυμότατε κύριε Γενικέ, κυρία Πρόεδρο τη Ελληνική Κοινότητα, our distinguished guest of all members of Parliament and the city, please allow me to say a few words first in Greek. Η εθνική μνήμη είναι το πολυτιμότερο στοιχείο αλετή για κάθε λαό. Για εμά του Έλληνε, με την μακραίων ιστορία που σκοτεινιάστηκε σε πολλά σημεία από καταστροφέ και ξένε κατακτήσει, η εθνική μνήμη για τον Ελληνισμό σε οποιαδήποτε γωνιά και χώρο τη γη άντισε και αυτή αποτελεί ιερό χρέο. Είναι ανατέλειπτο λοιπόν πω οι λαοί που στηρούνται μνήμη είναι καταδικασμένοι να χαθούν. Η Εθνική Μνήμη φωτίζει το παρελθόν μέσα στα στοιχεία της πολιτιστικής παράδοσης, συντηρεί την εθνική ταυτότητα και τονώνει την εθνική πατριωτική συνείδηση. Και εμείς σήμερα ο ελληνισμός της παρικίας μας, αναπολώντας την ένδοξη εκπομπία, του ιερότερου των αγώνων υπέρ της ανεξαρτησίας του γένους γιορτάσει. Σε αυτή τη γιορτή που δεν έχει χαρακτήρα μυσαλλοδοξίας γιατί είναι γιορτή αγάπης και φιλίας αναπολύσεως του παρελθόντος για να αντλήσουμε διδάγματα και παραδείγματα. Σήμερα ο παγκόσμιος ελληνισμός νιώθει υπερήφανο για τη διπλή γιορτή της 25ης Μαρτίου του 1821 την απελευθέρωση της πατρίδας μας από τον τουρκικό ζυγό και τον ευαγγελισμό της Παναγιάς μας. Σήμερα επίσης στις σκέψεις μας έρχονται οι ήρωες του 21. Αλλά σας φέρνω στη μνήμη μας τον Ρίγα Φεραίο ο οποίος είχε γράψει το περίφημο καλύτερα μια ώρα ελεύθερη ζωή παρά 40 χρόνια σκλαβιά και φυλακή. Η φράση η οποία συνδέθηκε άρρηκτα με τον αγώνα της απελευθέρωσης. Σας καλωσορίζω όλους στο σπίτι των Μακεδόνων και σας εύχομαι χρόνια πολλά πατριωτικά και ευρωγημένα. Η Παναγιά να μας προστατεύει όλους χρόνια μας πολλά Ζήτω η προσπίτα την Αρτήρη 1821. Ζήτω το έθνος. Ζήτω η Ελλάδα μας. Ζήτω ο Καναδάς. Ζήτω η Ελλάδα μας. 
Dear friends and guests, as President of the Pan-Macedonian Federation of Canada, I wish to welcome you to our cultural center. Greeks throughout the world celebrate Greece's independence from the Ottoman Empire on the 25th of March, 1821. As Greek Orthodox also celebrate on the same day the Annunciation of Virgin Mary. The Greek War of Independence, also known as the Greek Revolution or the Revolution of 1821, was a successful war of independence by the Greek revolutionaries against the Ottoman Empire between 1821 and 1829. In 1826, the Greeks became assisted by the British Empire, Kingdom of France, and the Russian Empire, while the Ottomans were aided by the North African vassals, particularly Egyptians. The Greek Revolution was not an isolated event. Numerous failed attempts at regaining independence took place throughout the history of the Ottoman era. The Greek Orthodox Church played a crucial role in the preservation of the national identity the development of the Greek society and the resurgence of Greek nationalism. From the early 18th century and onwards, members of the prominent Greek families in Constantinople, known as Fanariotes, after the Fanar district of the city, gained considerable control over the Ottoman foreign policy and eventually over the bureaucracy as a whole. In Macedonia, we had our own heroes contributing to the war of independence. The Filiki Eteria, or the Society of Friends, formed in 1819, took also roots in the northern part of Greece, Macedonia. The leader and coordinator of the revolution in Macedonia was Emmanuel Papas. And other Macedonian heroes, such as Zafirakis, Theodosiu, Karatasos, Kekatsos. Some wealthy Americans and Western Europeans aristocrats, such as, such as the renewed poet Lord Byron, and later the physician Samuel, took up arms to join the Greek revolutionaries. In Nafplio, the first capital city of the liberated Greece, a monument of under of the Philelines who died fighting in the war listed 274 names, of which 100 are from Germany, 40 each from France and Italy, and the rest from Britain, Spain, Hungary, Sweden, Portugal, and Denmark. It was a difficult war of liberation after Greeks were enslaved by the Turks for more than 400 years. Many atrocities were committed by the Turks, Albanians, and the Egyptians' Ottoman forces. It is sad, very sad, even today under Erdogan's autocratic rule, Greece's freedom is threatened by the existence of Turkey's cashless belly. In October of 1828, the Greeks formed a new government under the first Prime Minister, Ioannis Kapodistrias. On the 21st of December, 1828, the ambassadors of Britain, Russia, France, met on the island of Poros and prepared a protocol which provided for the creation of autonomous state ruled by a monarch, whose authority should be confirmed by a firman of the Sultan. The three powers finally agreed to create an independent Greek state under the joint protection, concluding the protocols of the 3rd of February in 1830. We're very proud of these heroes who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. Long live Greece, long live Canada. I'd like to now call a long-standing uh, member of parliament and a, a strong supporter of the Greek community 
MP Aristovakian. Good afternoon, dear friends. It is becoming tradition to be in this hall after the parade. And I look always forward to this day to have those heartwarming discussions and listen to our elected officials. Everyone said plenty about Greece's and Hellenism contribution to humanity, mankind. And I want to focus a little bit on the current days. I was in Greece last summer, and I'm going to go back again, part of the PADE, the World Hellenic Interparliamentary Association as a member. I was in Greece. We had very proud army, uh, Greek from Pontos. So, uh, and we had a very frank discussion. We had many visits around the Greece, and I have seen how Greece evolved from the days where it was almost on the verge of bankruptcy. Today, Greece is becoming hub of Europe. Many large conglomerates are opening their manufacturing places, their branches in Greece, employing people, and I am sure that Greece is on the verge of recovery and becoming one of the leading countries in Europe. But having said that, we cannot be complacent because the next door of the neighbor next door keep threatening Greece. We all of us seen the talk of the current president, Erdogan, about the blue map. We have seen some of his officials take a picture in front of maps where Greece and many of the Bulgarian country, uh, 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 Balkan countries are part of the new Neo-Ottoman Empire. It's not only in the West, but also in the East, in the South. And all of us, we remember when the current president made the famous threat to the Greek government saying that, remember Smyrna, as we came during the night, we will come to you in Greece. So these are real facts. These are real threats. But regrettably, I have to say, the free world stood by and did not condemn, at least condemn these belligerent statement. And I believe, strongly believe that the current president of Turkey is a threat to Western democracies. He is not a dependable NATO ally. And we have seen, at least recently in the United States, many research and analysis that it is time for the NATO alliance and the Western world to kick out Turkey from the NATO alliance. 